I am about to tell you something and I know this will shock you yes it will shock you big time because anytime we pray for money anytime we pray for wealth yes God only gives us ideas anytime we pray for money. Anytime we are poor and we pray for money, God gives us ideas. Why do God give us ideas when we pray for money? Because in the beginning, God himself was a poor man. Yes, I know this will shock you. But it is the truth. God was a poor man. He was a poor God because he had nothing. In the beginning, God had nothing. He had no home. All what God had in the beginning was his mind and his thoughts and his imagination and his ideas. So it is said that in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. This means that if God existed before the beginning, then he had nothing. All what he had was his mind. So with his mind, so with his imagination, so with his ideas, he created the heavens and the earth. Then it is said that he, he made man in his image. So when God made man in his image, the only thing that he gave man that makes us equal to himself is the power to think, the power to imagine, and the power to create. This is the reason why I am telling you today that you are a God. You may have nothing yes you may have nothing yes you may have nothing but you are a god you are a god who has nothing now but you have the power of imagination you have the power to create you have the power to think and you have the power to make money out of ideas everything that you see in the world today was once somebody's ideas it was once somebody's imagination it is a product of somebody's imagination it is a product of somebody's ideas the trains you use the cars you use the buildings you live in everything the palace the mansions that you adore and admire they were all once somebody's ideas yes and they were created because somebody used his imagination and his thinking and his ideas constructively so why are we poor we are not poor because god made us poor because god made nobody poor he said i am the god that gives you the power to make wealth and the power to make wealth has been given to you because he has given you the power to think he has given you the power to imagine and he has given you the power to create he who has the power to think, the power to imagine, and the power of thoughts has the power of creation. You have the power of creation. So you are not poor. You can create. And when you create, you become rich. So you are not poor. So ask yourself, if you are poor today, it is because you have made your mind up to be poor. It is not because God has made you poor. God has given us all the power to make wealth but when you use that power then you become wealthy and when you refuse to use that power you become poor so the power to make wealth and the power to be poor is in your hands how well are you using your imagination how well are you using your creativity how well are you using that potential that capacity that God has given you this is your power to make wealth this is your power to create this is your power to make the world a better place today you may be poor but i am here to tell you that you are a god yes you are a god the only difference between you and a god is the fact that you are not using your mind your imaginations and your creativity constructively yes the only difference between you and a god is the fact that you are disconnected from this universal god force because when you fetch a bucket of seawater the only difference between the bucket of seawater and the seawater itself is in the quantity the qualities are still the same 
As far as it is God that created you and gave you the power of imagination, you hold the same qualities as God. The only difference between you and a God is the fact that you are not using your imaginations. Is the fact that you are not using your words constructively. God used his words to build the world. But you are using your words to destroy. You are using your words to curse. You are using your words to create poverty for yourself. You are thinking negative. You are thinking negative thoughts every day. But when you begin to think positively, when you begin to think positively, when you begin to use your mind and your imaginations creatively, you will not be poor. This is the power to make wealth. The power to make wealth is in your imagination. The power to make wealth is in your creativity. The power to make wealth is in your potential. The power to make wealth is your capacity. When you begin to use it, you will become worthy. God created you as a representative of himself in this world. So you have the power to create and you have the power to make it in life. You have the power to be successful. Failure is only a choice. When you choose to fail, you will fail. When you choose to be mediocre, you will be mediocre. When you choose to be great, you will be great. It all lies in your imagination and how you decide to use your mind. Use your mind positively. Connect with positivity. Think positive. Stop thinking about poverty. Start thinking about creativity. Start thinking about wealth. Start moving towards wealth. Start doing things that will make you wealthy. Start speaking words that will bring wealth to you. Start imagining wealth. Start doing things that create wealth. Wealth is only in your hands. When you choose to create it, it will come. Now, but now we are using our minds to create diseases. Now we are using our minds to create poverty. Now we are using our minds to create deficiency. And this is why we have nothing. And this is why we are poor all the time. And this is why we are broke all the time. Get connected with positivity. Subscribe now. You were created to be a god. You are a god. Thank you.